Okay, so the call I just got on the phone. The guy called up. He's got our twin kit on, 647112 over the S480. He wants 800 horse out of a common room. He's got 100% over injectors, so they're about 200 horsepower injectors on it. And he's wanting 800 horse. And I told him, oh, that's simple. You'll get that easily. But his tuner told him, oh, no, you you got to go a T4 turbo up top. And I was like, oh, I said, T4 turbos do not flow more especially versus a waste-gated T3. All a T4 does, the scroll is going to be the same. If it's a .8 AR scroll, they're the same on a T4 as a T3 in the same size housing. I said just the flange is bigger, and so people assume they flow more, but I said it has to recompress down the same scroll size. I explained to him that with the wastegate, that flows about 20 to 22 pounds more a minute with the wastegate open, so we can get quicker spool up out of a T3 housing and then flow more on top end just by virtue of the wastegate if you don't even count the scroll flowing slightly more. Yeah, they wanted to do a T4, and then he wanted to do an S400 with like an S467 or 469 with a 1.1 housing versus a .80 housing, and the tuner was telling him that would be a better setup, and I said, that thing won't even run. I said, it will run top end only, the spool-up RPM, I told him, would be, and he said right now his truck's very drivable with the 6471 over the S480. The AR, the, he wanted to go to a one o. Yeah, that's what I say. And I was like, holy cow, that would be an absolute dog. I told him he'd be about 21 to 2200 RPMs to even get that turbo to light. He said right now with the kit, he just has a mild tune on his truck right now. He said it will light at about 15 to 1600 with the setup he has. And I was like, well, that will light that same way, if not a little better, once you get a big tune in. You're not going to lose drivability, and the horsepower will easily hit the 800 realm. And he says, well, that's really what I want to hit, and I want it to be drivable. And I said, yeah, the only way it would be drivable if you went that big, big, big turbo would be to have a flash point on your torque converter that would, like, you know, that would flash you beyond 2,200 RPMs or somewhere around there. Anyway.